So to explain this world to lower dimensional beings, now what would you say? Take five minutes and think about it and uh, then get back to me. I, hopefully this isn't like uh, my last video because that'd be awkward, you know, but uh, this is not going to be my last video as far as my plan. What would you say to higher dimensional, no, lower dimensional beings to try to describe this world? Is well, I already thought about it a little bit earlier, and I, I would definitely say you have to experience it to believe it. Or no, you have to experience it to understand. Yeah. And so therefore... That would be worth so many, so many words, so much, so much, if they can understand that you have the experience to understand. So, uh, you have sensations, you have different things to think about. It's really like what we think about. We think about everything. Like if, if we're in pain, that's because our brain makes us know that we are so we think about a lot of things maybe that's as above so below in this whole universe higher dimensions lower dimensions it's just but maybe it's this dimension is thought but what would you say you gotta experience it to believe it there are things that are so amazing that and you'd be like, you can't put it into words. There are so many beautiful things, but there's also a dark side where where that you don't understand why something happens. Where, where it comes from, why someone would do something so evil, or why there would be bad things at all in the world, why would there be death, there's death, lower dimensional beings probably aren't going to understand, maybe even death, I don't know, but we're all in a process of, to this, get to the all one consciousness, and it's not necessary that we're we've taken different amount of times to get to this higher consciousness it's all process we're all going to be different but it's a good good song for this Higher dimensional beings. All right. So I've tried to describe in about three minutes, 30 seconds so far, what the world is. And I have about a minute and a half. Okay, so go. All right. You're gonna experience things bad and good. You're not gonna understand everything. That's the apparent key to this whole thing is what we go in not understanding and we learn, we learn things. And the more you learn things, you can understand and feel genuinely better about the world and hopefully continue trying to learn and have fun and so experience everything you can and if you you'll find patterns that you will be attracted to and some that you won't and so There are going to be signs and clear indications with your body telling you something and mind telling you something that it is not good or bad. Because lower dimensional beings are probably, you know, kind of like kids. You have to talk to them like kids, but at the same time, kids are more open. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to give myself like an extra minute of leeway. So it'll be six minutes to teach lower dimensional beings what to prepare for.
wonder how much of this is silence. Yeah. There will be stats in this video. We will not understand, but we're going to have to keep on going. So, all in all, lower dimensional beings, that you will eventually attain all this knowledge in one way or another through different forms of experiences. And you'll either be better or worse for it, depending on how you look at it. But you can, you can do about anything, transform anything, and your, the power of the brain is immense. And so, you'll still be, you'll be able to contact, connect with possibly higher dimensional beings to help you go along the way. So all in all. Hopefully it's helped you basically to experience, we'll understand.